You know that most of the time, we, we tend to forget that relations are being used also as domestic workers. And it's very difficult and a little bit more complicated. Before I delve into the rationale and the reason behind sponsoring this bill, I want to just tell a very sad and painful story to this August gathering. Precisely on the 8th of February 1998, one of the first female trained pilot of Nigeria Airways, Hadiza Lantana Oko, was killed murdered in a house in Ikui, Lagos, after she had just flown back into Nigeria. After the gruesome murder, her staff, domestic workers, the uh, gate man, and the house help, buried her in a septic tank in her own compound and stole all her valuables, cash, electronics, clothes, everything she owned, they cleaned up the house. That is not the story. The story was that after painstaking investigation by the police, very beautiful job they did, they were able to discover where the body was cemented and sealed in the septic tank of the house. Investigations commenced, the culprits were all arrested, charged to court. The police generally depend on households. We all go to work, we have the guard, we have cook, we have stewards, we have nanny, we have caregivers, all domiciled in our various households. But let me ask this question. How many of us have been able to trace down to the communities and localities where those households come from? How many of us have been diligent enough to do that? No. In the modern economy, employment agencies encourage documentation, biometrics capturing, and they create a small economy which earns government revenue. The security agencies will find it easier to track suspects or culprits that are involved in this heinous crime. Now, the other leg of the problem is also that we have cases of domestic workers abuse by employers. I can recall recently the Minister of Women Affairs had to go on live TV to request that a registered a barrister, a barrister a lawyer, a lawyer had to be arrested because of the punishment she made on her household. These are all part of the problems that generated my desire to bring about a bill that will enable us to document capture and sanitize this important sector. It is important to note that the majority of the workers under this particular segment are in the informal sector. And then beyond that, they are mostly women. So therefore, they are vulnerable to abuse, vulnerable, no, no condition of work, no any signed agreement between the employer and employee. You pick them and drop them at homes and campuses. These are part of the reasons why we are having all the problems we are having today. We have cases of moral complicity in crime between the domestic workers and their accomplices, criminal outside. A lot of issues that would help in sanitizing the sector is the intent of this bill. Now, there are four principal key benefits behind documenting and sanitizing this sector. The first one is the ethical reason. In 2011, the ILO had done a convention on domestic workers and encouraged member states to key into this law and to make sure that workers are properly documented, given all the rights and privileges like every other employee in the formal, in the formal sector. Up to today, Nigeria has not done anything in this regard. And I think it is high time we key into this and register this important and key into the ILO convention. Secondly, the security agencies, like I said earlier, we find it very easy to trace any suspect, especially having regard to the fact that you can use technology to take the biometrics of all the domestic workers, which will be domiciled under the Federal Ministry of Employment, Labor, and 
productivity could we be host of this important information. And the security agencies, the police, the DSS, can be availed information by the press of the button in cases where they require such. Thirdly, and most importantly, we are creating a new economy from this bill. The employment agencies that will come up, that will register, employ, register, train, and deploy these workers to those who need them, will definitely do that. They will charge services and they will pay government revenue. So therefore, it is a win-win situation for all of us. It will also help us in addressing the issues of unemployment in Nigeria. Finally, and most importantly, we have to belong to the international community. Today, in many households, you go and see some foreign workers coming in by way of house health and domestic workers. They are not documented, they are not registered, posing grave national security risk. Therefore, with this bill, I believe it will stay in all of these ugly tendencies. This bill was read in November 2023, the first reading, the second reading took place. Uh, in May this year, we are now in the third reading. I urge you to look deeply into it. I just give you the broad outline of what the bill is intended to achieve. The technical experts and the team that are here should be able to give us more inputs so that we can have a robust bill that will stand the test of time. I thank you so much for making time to be here and I urge you to contribute diligently to crafting a law that will satisfy all the various stakeholder interests. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Thank you, Senator Obangela Hussein, the sponsor of the bill. Just before we move to take more presentations, I'd like to recognize more this in the We have domestic workers, even if before independence and formation of government, either as workers in the family, assistants in our virus, areas of probation. But it's very unfortunate that most of them are not documented. Most of them you don't have a collateral. At the end of the day, the system suffers from both sides, both the worker, the employer, and the employee. I'm sure that most of us are aware of nasty things that have happened. Even either to the domestic worker or the employer of the domestic service. And our brother, distinguished Senator Hussein Barangida, the Senator representing the good people of Jigawa South West, and Chairman Senate Committee on FEMA, former Federal Permanent Secretary Minister of Works, former Permanent Secretary of Defense, and now Senator in the 10th Senate, wrote, brought up this bill. And the bill is intended that it really becomes a law where the Ministry for Labor and Productivity will have a lot of role in documenting, standing in for accounting for domestic workers employed in Nigeria. Even if the country reaches a level where domestic service can be exported, let it be in such a way that there is documentation. And anybody who would want to engage the services of a domestic servant, the person needs to be known. This is to avoid molestation. This is to avoid exploitation to both sides, the employer and the employee. There's no documentation. Everybody just wants to go along just as it pleases them. Now, I just want to appeal that in this thing that has already been um, docu I mean, brought up, my suggestion would be that, you know that most of the time, we, we tend to forget that relations are being used also as domestic workers. And it's very difficult and a little bit more complicated when you talk about registering them, documenting them. We have to also look at that aspect because people take up relations who are coming from 
poorer socioeconomic background and exploit them simply because they, they do not have. Now, when we talk about wanting to, do, do, I mean, to register these domestic workers, are we also thinking of asking relations or people to, to also go and register their own relatives too? These are issues I think we need to come up with. Because I'll tell you that in the course of some researches, you'll find out that people actually um, pick up these relations, they work for them under some assumptions and agreement. You either find out that the payment for this work that or labor being produced goes to either the parents or somebody else, while the person who sits down to do this work is absolutely not getting anything out of it. And so it is very important that we also think of this too, because it is not just about strangers coming to work in people's homes too. There are issues of relatives who come to work and are highly exploited. And this is just the aspect I want us to actually look at too. Thank you.